This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Pfizer v. Elmore. You are married and have been together seven years. You are high school sweethearts. But your heart is in jeopardy right now because of allegations of cheating. Would you share with the court what is at stake? What is on the line with these allegations? Right now, Your Honor, everything is at stake. Travion and I have been married for seven years, and I am a mother and a wife, and he's been affiliating with different co-workers from his job. You're supposed to be entertaining me, not other women. All right, Mr. Elmore, tell me you're not at work working. Your Honor, I am not at work working. I'm there to make a paycheck, come home, provide for my family. So what do you want to show today? I want to show her proof that I'm not cheating because my marriage is at jeopardy right now, you know? And I love Miracle. I love my family too much. We build this something together. I want to continue building a legacy. But you are not buying this at all, Ms. Pfizer. No, Your Honor, I'm not. You say there are warning signs. Tell me about those. The first warning sign that stuck out to me was the fact that Travion's wardrobe changed tremendously. <laughs> he, <laughs> went from, he went from being just laid back, chilled um, outfit type dressing to becoming very flashy. Huh. He started buying watches, <laughs> chains, fitted hats, just things that do not fit his personality. But Ms. Fazer, most women would like their man to kind of step it up a little bit. Absolutely. Wh right? This change came out of nowhere, becoming a totally different person. It's like I don't know, even know him anymore. <laughs> Is, is that a bad thing? Am I missing something here? Well, no, but you know, Mr. Cutler, when we met, I mean, you were you were a nice dresser. I was you, a good dresser. <laughs> you were a really nice dresser. I was a good dresser. And you know, you know that outfit, that brown outfit that I wanted to burn. Yeah, but every, well, look, <laughs> everybody has that one outfit that, that I wanted to burn real yeah. badly. I mean, you and, had one or two. What? Yeah. <laughs> You, you had one or two, but I, I had one or two. You had one or two outfits that I was like. But here's the yeah. thing, when we. But, but I, I, I was so into you as a person, the outfits really didn't matter. Oh. Ooh, we you talk a good game, Mr. Cutler. <laughs> I can't, I can't even remember what they looked like. You remember the brown outfit? That brown outfit was something else. But as you know, as we, after we were married, we started buying for each other. We started kind of changing up. Right. And that's a good thing. Yeah, but it was a mutual thing. You didn't just all of a sudden break out, you know, some new look. And Ms. Pfizer is thinking she's getting flashy, and I presume it's for the women. Yes. You, that's why you all didn't have a discussion about it. He just busted the mood. Yes, Your Honor. All right. What are the other warning signs? The second thing was that Travion and I have always had free-flowing communication in our relationship as far as our phones were concerned. Okay. He wound up taking my fingerprint off his phone. So now I have no access to anything in his phone. Ms. Elmore, you got all these flashy clothes, you change up your style, your wardrobe, and now you shut out your phone too? What's going on? Your Tell Honor, me about the clothes. I bought the clothes. I'm an artist and I do hip-hop music. Okay. So, as the times goes, you know, you got to change to appeal to the younger audience, you know? And right now, it's all flashy clothes, you know, jewelry, fitted hats. No. no you got to give the people what they want. Exactly. You know, you... You, you, you got to give the you people what they want. Get you got to give the people what they want. building a... I'm building a brand for myself, you know? If no brand, you can't sell. I want to make easy and fast money. All with right. With a passion that I... With a passion that I thought we both shared, as far as music goes... But I see it's only one, it's one-sided now. We shared a passion, but you seem like you're trying to share it with somebody else. No, because if I was oh. trying to share it with somebody else, I would have been shared. I had plenty of opportunities to, oh. but I chose not to. Well, I can't tell. So, Mr. Elmore, you're saying the clothes, the change in style and all that, that's to promote your rap career, not to promote your relationship with somebody else. Correct, Your Honor. But how do you explain changing the phone so she doesn't have access? Well, Your Honor, the, um... At my job, it was an ex-coworker there. You know, she asked me to see my phone. All right. Now, I was under the assumption that she was making a phone call. Okay. But instead, she, you know, she decided to take pictures and post them on my Instagram. Why is she so comfortable with you? Why is she so comfortable with you? First of all, I didn't know she did it. I don't know why she was comfortable with me. You are a whole married man. <laughs> there should be no Okay, Maybe. so why did you take her thumbprint off or her fingerprint off? I have trust issues now. I don't trust nobody. I don't ever trust my own family with my phone. You can't trust your wife. You don't but trust your you... wife? Okay, no. so you, you don't trust your wife? No, I do not trust my wife with my phone. With your phone? With my phone. 
Is it because you're hiding things? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not hiding anything. Don't forget, you went you went through my emails. I don't miss deadlines because you don't open un, I don't let I open I open emails that you have opened up and you have not told me about. I, I wouldn't have a reason to if you did not purposely hide certain. But things if you would have told me, hey, beg, you have a deadline. I opened up this email. It would have never been like that. So, Mr. Elmore, you're saying you don't trust your wife with your phone. But now, she doesn't trust you, and that's why you're here. Yes, Your Honor. Trying to save your marriage. Yes. Ms. Pfizer, why else do you think you're cheating? Well, it was about 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, his phone wound up going off. But the message that he got was a hey from the old coworker. Um, the messages were basically... Um, she was having vaginal issues. No. Nah, and... nah, I, I, I can explain. I can explain that situation easily. I definitely have evidence uh, okay. to both okay. messages. Ron, would you please get that? Yes, yeah, sure. Sean. Thank you. Welcome. So this, this is your recollection of the messages you yes. saw. Yes. So the first one you gave us is the other woman says in the bathroom. I'm having vaginal problems. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. I... I... Uh... <laughs> Miss Elmore, it... tell me how this co-worker is comfortable enough to tell so you about comfortable. this. Yana, I don't know how comfortable she is with me, was with me. I, I think know, we do. But I know at that, that particular day, we was crowded in the store. And uh -huh. I inboxed her saying, they need you up front. After she came out the restroom, you know, I addressed the situation to her like that was inappropriate. I'm a married man. I'm a happy married man. Sir, are you really? Yes. All now, right. You said you were a happy married man because yes. what Miss Pfizer has submitted. A second one, recollection. It doesn't say, hey, I'm a married man, that wasn't appropriate. What it says is, if I wasn't married, I dot, would. Dot, dot, dot. I would. That's different. Because that means you're thinking about it, but, yeah. you, but you can't do now, it. I, I remember that conversation. On that day, we was getting ready to take our CPR, CPR classes. And she said, if I pass out, what would you do? So I said, if I was married, I would dot, dot, dot. But I was indicating that if I wasn't married, I would give you CPR. That makes no sense. It does make sense. It does. Tyler, did it he does. Just... <laughs> so, I'm wait, 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 hold up. Are you <laughs> suggesting... That if you are married, you wouldn't do CPR or you wouldn't yes. save life? Yes, I, yes, Your Honor, I'm so serious. I don't want to put my lips Sorry. upon another woman if I'm married. Even in an emergency even, to save even her even life? Emergency. Note I, the file, no. do not be around him if I fall out. You just, yeah. you just gonna be turning blue. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> but then the other piece that we kind of glossed over was mm. she felt comfortable enough with him to say, Thank so you. would you give me CPR? which could have been cold for something else. I'm almost sure it was. It, if it was, I didn't get that hint. I think no. you did, because you said, <laughs> if I wasn't married. All right, so, Ms. Pfizer. Yes, ma'am. This is really bad. Are there any other reasons that you believe that Mr. Elmore is cheating with this coworker? Yes. Um, so, he is a rapper. Okay. And he just recently uh, released an EP. And with this EP, he told me that he had dedicated it to her. Basically, Whoa. she was inspiration for him writing this the way that he did. Okay, hold He told up. you this? Yes. Well, the court has done its research mm -hmm. and we have found some of the lyrics to Mr. Elmore's song. Mm -hmm. I'm done playing games. I know you want to be mine. Fresh out the shower, it's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your dreams, and I give you one hell of a night, baby. This is what you dedicated to your female coworker. Come on, man, talk to I, us. I know how I look. It look. It looks suspect. I know. No, no, no. It looks horrible. Suspect we can do <laughs> horrible. So if if she thinks something's not right, what she do is she keep digging. And digging and digging. And obviously, until... you see what I found. <sighs> I struck gold. <laughs> let, me, let me finish explaining. You ain't struck gold, you struck fool's gold. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, well Mr. Elmore, to me, it seems like you're the one who keeps digging and digging and digging because you're digging yourself into a deeper hole. <laughs> <laughs> it, may, it may seem like that. <laughs> Tell me how a sexually laced EP 
dedicated to another woman, how is that not proof that you've been with this woman? It was just inspiration, Garner. You know, as an <laughs> artist, as, as an artist, we draw, we tend to draw inspiration from, from life experiences, you know? So what if I agree? Yeah. I didn't experience nothing. <laughs> I experienced nothing. Like I said, she was, it was just inspiration about the situation. Mr. Elmore, this digging for inspiration has put your family and your marriage at risk. Tell him what you are thinking and feeling. Because I see it all over you. I've given you all of me. And now I feel like I'm only getting a portion of you because there's so much that's keeping you away from us. And us, I mean your family. But specifically me, I'm asking you to just be honest and you're not doing so. I am being honest. This, whether, whether you believe me or not. This is my final straw. This is the end of the line. If these results come back different from everything that you've been telling me, this is it. We're done. We're through. I'm finished. I can't. And, and Mr. Elmore, you maintain that you have not been involved with anyone else and specifically this co-worker. No, Your Honor, I have not at yeah. all. And this is all in her head. This is all in her head. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call digital forensic consultant Patrick Seward to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> How are you, Mr. Seward? Good day, Your Honors. Yeah, it's good to see you. To see so you. the court ordered Mr. Elmore to submit his phone for examination. Is that correct, Mr. Seward? Yes. So we conducted a full forensic analysis of Mr. Elmore's phone, and that included uh, things like text messages, pictures, video, web history, and apps data. So did you find anything in his phone that was provocative? Oh, yes. Tell uh, us about that. Well, uh, we uncovered 3,675 uh, pictures and about 100 videos, uh, and one of those videos was of Mr. Elmore having sex with a woman. <laughs> Were you able to uncover who the woman was in the video? After further inspection and investigation, it was determined that the video was of Mr. Elmore having sex with, with his wife. All right. Okay. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> well, Mr. Seward, was this the only sex video that you found in Mr. Elmore's phone? It was the only sex video, yes, but there were also pictures. Did your investigation determine whether or not those photos were of Mr. Elmore's wife or someone else? They were of someone else. The photos are here as part of the file. Ooh. These appear to be vagina pictures, uh, very close up <laughs> of what I, th I think are two different vaginas. <laughs> they, they look completely different. Yeah. Um, Dang. Yeah. And you found these in Mr. Elmore's phone? Yes. Woo. That's a lot. That's a lot. Mr. Elmore, <laughs> is this a coworker? No, Your Honor. Well, who, who are the two different? Because they ain't the same. <laughs> did, did these come from the same phone? They came from the same phone, and we were able to determine uh, through analysis of the pictures that uh, one of the photos came from his wife's phone. But what the other one did not. That's correct. <laughs> I deny that. Ron, would you hunt these to Miss Pfizer and let her take a look and see if she can identify <laughs> her versus not her? Damn. Mm -mm. One I recognize. <laughs> okay, and one you don't. <laughs> Another one I don't. Um, at this point, I just, I just want the results. I just, I can't even, I can't even. To further investigate, this court ordered a polygraph examination of Mr. Elmore, and we have those results. At this time, the court will call licensed private investigator and polygraph examiner Kendall Scholl. Mom, please escort him. Kendall Scholl. You asked Mr. Elmore, since being married to Ms. Pfizer, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ms. Pfizer, that's the first real smile I've seen. 
And that's a sigh. And a sigh Wait a minute, that was a deep sigh. <laughs> Tell me what you're thinking. Tell oh. him what you're thinking. Well, first things first, I just want to say I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Sorry. And I am more than relieved that I finally have the truth. And I just want to be able to start trusting you again. It been hard for me too. Now you know, now you know that I've been in the hospital because of my heart, because of this situation. It, it been hard for me too because I want you to be be able to trust me once again, like you did once before. Give me reason. And, to. and, it, and it hurts me. You know, it, it's painful for you not to trust me. Just be honest with me. I, I have been honest with you, as you can see. You are clearly passionate about each other. This has been breaking your heart. This has been breaking your heart. Take that energy that you've been using on this stuff, on building each other up. Yes, and if Your you do Honor. that, y'all gonna be okay. Yes, Your Honor. My last piece of advice to you, if a woman contacts you and says she has vaginal issues, send her to an OBGYN. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, as we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a great relationship. Court is adjourned.